Okay, welcome back to this course. Uh, let's open the hand model in the ArcGIS environment. Click yes. Let me uncheck this layer. And as you can see, the vertical uh, elevation difference between each cell and the river networks range from 0 to 8038. Okay, let's classify this raster. For example, into 10 classes and use, for example, this color wrap. Okay, uh, you can see the variation of hand values uh, from 0 to the maximum num value, for example, 80, 30, uh, 38. Okay, as I mentioned, the hand values represent the flood depths. For example, uh, for a specific uh, flood value, you can go to the uh, rating curve and extract the flood depths based on rating curve. Okay, let's uh, change uh, these values for a flood depth. For example, we can have one meter, two meter, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and other values. For a real uh, river case studies, uh, you know, the flood values range from 1 meter to 10 meter, and we don't have uh, high flood depths, for example, 50, 60, or 100 meter. However, you can use different values. For example, I can use 8, 10, and 12, 40, and other values. Press the OK and apply. And as you can see, uh, in this figure, we can uh, see all flood depths. And uh, as I mentioned, we don't have floods higher than uh, 40 meter for this case. Uh, I should uh, no, uh, no color for the, use no color for this uh, data range. Apply and OK. As you can see, for different uh, flood depths, you can have different uh, flood extents. OK, now uh, you should may ask yourselves uh, what uh, flood extent which is suitable for our case. As I've mentioned, uh, you should uh, extract or calculate the rating curve for your case study. For example, let me change the color okay let me okay uh, as you can see my river uh, reach starts from here and continue to the downstream and you can use uh, different uh, softwares, for example, Haycrest or Excel or other software or hydraulic softwares for extraction of river net networks. But in this vi uh, video or in this course, I want to introduce uh, you a simple method in order to extract uh, rating care for your reach. Okay, let's activate the 3D analysis extension and use interpolate line and click from left side to the uh, right side of your channel okay and click on the profile graph and you can see the cross-sectional variation of your case study okay in order to extract the uh, river net uh, rating care for this cross-section you should uh, have uh, elevation and x value for your cross section uh, and calculate their rating curve. In this uh, video, I want to use a 
Okay. I want to use or introduce a hydraulic toolbox software, and this is a practical and simple software for different hydraulic simulation. But uh, today I want just to use one of uh, the options, I mean the new channel analysis, and double click on the channel analysis. Okay, let me to select the metric system, and then click on the channel analysis and uh, from different channel type you should you can use cross section method select on define and you can enter the station and elevation values for your case study okay come back here and you can select uh, some values for example the elevation is 50 and the X or the station is about uh, 400. Okay, let me open Excel and extract the elevation and the station for this case study. Okay. Okay. You can uh, exactly use the elevation value or the data sets and ex uh, import and ex export them to the Excel software. But uh, today I want to use a, a fast and simple method or a way to extract the elevation and station data sets. Okay, elevation and station. Or we can change the location. Let me increase the font. OK. Elevation is 50. And for example, here is 22. And the elevation is about 70, uh, 750. And it is 820, 0, and this is just 0, and this is about 10, 80 double O. It's about 280, it's about 11, and then I think it's quite, uh, quite enough, 2,500, and the elevation is about, let's assume that this value. Okay, let's come back to the hydraulic toolbox. Double click here, select cross section, define, and we have five number of cross section. Click and I hope this accept all values. Okay, click on elevation, copy. Paste all elevation. You can plot. Okay, let's. I think uh, we made some mistake. Okay. This value must be replaced by this. Okay, this is the overall shape of our cross section. However, you can uh, use the different and more numbers in order to better uh, define the cross section values. But in this uh, video, in order to 
decrease the time of video. Uh, I use the simple shape of cross section in order to uh, calculate the rating care for my case study. Okay. And then you can enter the manning values for your cross section. For example, this value. Okay, and also you should enter the S loop of your channel. I mean, your channel is here. However, we should define the elevation from the starting point, uh, five meter and about two meter. Okay, elevation difference from the starting point and the end of the point is about three met, uh, meter uh, divided by, I think it's about, this value and this is the slope of slot in this bridge. Okay, the slope of channel is Value. Press OK and the longitudinal slope is about this value and you should enter the flow value. Okay, now you should have a flood uh, with different returns periods and then enter each flow, uh, flood values here. For example, uh, I have the flood values uh, with, the, with the return periods of 100. The value is about, for example, 25.15 and then you press calculate and you can, uh, no, you can see the hydraulic values for your section for this uh, flow value and click on compute curves and select depths and flow. Okay, this is the rating curve of your cross section. I mean, let me to delete this. Okay, uh, for this uh, cross section, this is the uh, rating curve. For example, uh, this is uh, this uh, vertical values uh, for flow and the horizontal uh, line related to flood depths. Okay, uh, you should have flood values and then go to the rating curve and find the appropriate flood depths. Okay, if you have a full value, uh, flood values about uh, 2000 uh, cubic meter per second, you can go to the rating curve and find the best location and go to the horizontal section and find that the flood values related to this uh, flood is about uh, for meter, okay? You can use this software or other hydraulic softwares. Let's uh, finish this video here and continue in the next part.